Accelerate Marketing. I am going to show you today how to edit movies very, very quickly using iMovie. A lot of times, I mean, really, it, it can cost thousands of dollars to edit a movie, but why spend thousands of dollars when you can edit a movie in between five and ten minutes using a simple app that costs less than ten dollars, I think it's actually less than five dollars right now, for your iPhone called iMovie. It's a very, very easy uh, app to use. You can splice off the end. You can splice off. You can take out um, any video that you don't want to. You don't want to be using. You can also add what's called a bottom third to your video. You can increase the volume of your video. You can create transitions between different sections of your video. You can cut up your video so that you can um, you can just highlight different things in your video. All this can be done literally while you're getting a haircut. I mean, I've actually edited video while I've gotten a haircut. So it's, it's very quick and easy to do. I'm going to show you within probably seven minutes, five to seven minutes, maybe even less, exactly how you can edit a video quickly and easily using your iPhone. Now, this is not my, my bling bling case here, but uh, we're going to use this one anyway, even though it's, it's a little bit uh, glitzy for my taste. But if you can kind of pan down here, so my, my camera assistant's going to, Oh wow, we're really gonna. So let me. Well, we got to get on the same side here. So come on over here. Come on over here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. Whoa. Is I'm gonna show you exactly how to edit this. Okay. So we're gonna go into. First, we're gonna go to iMovie. So we're gonna tap on iMovie. Then what we're gonna do is click on. The, we're gonna tap on the little plus button right there. Okay. So new project. Okay, now we're going to go actually get our, our files. So it says tap that little thing to insert media, and you can tap the little record button to start recording new video right now, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go get some media. You can either get photos, audio, or video. So let's go get one that's not too long. I know this, is, this one's, oh, she's going to yell at me for, you know what, we're just going to do this one. That one looks a little bit better. I think she's going to be happy with me for using that one as opposed to the other one where her, <laughs> was okay so I'm gonna there we go so you can see there's two different views that you can have with um, when you're editing so here's how you how you do this so this is what's called the timeline right here see this little red line right here this that's what basically is that's what determines where you're playing so as you slide the film over that red part that's the actual section of the video that's actually playing at that moment is where that where that red section is. So obviously if you go all the way to the end, there. The end is right there. When when the that red line gets to the end, that means that you're the the end of that strip, that that film strip. So the beginning is right there. So there's there's the beginning. Now, if you want to one of the basic features, one of the basic functions of of editing is is to is to be able to trim. So in order to be able to trim the video at the beginning, by the way, you can see that this video is 34 0.6 seconds. You can see right there it says 34.6 seconds long. Okay, so if we grab this little knob right here, you can see we've, I'm going to click away, but if you tap on the actual film, this little, it turns yellow around the outside of it and it creates this little knob right here. So you want to put your finger on that little knob and grab it. And when you pull it in, you can't see exactly what's going on behind my finger, but when you pull it in, you can see how that number up there is getting s smaller. It's going down to 32.5 seconds. You can see it's going to 32 point, you know, it's getting shorter and shorter. So what we're doing is, is we're trimming the video. Now we're making it longer again. We're going back up to the regular length, all the way back up to 34.6 seconds. You can't see it exactly, but that's what we did. So if you want, to trim the beginning, all you do is you pull in to the section that you want to start the the actual video at. So let's go to the beginning. Okay. Let's. So we're going to trim the beginning a little bit. So instead of her saying, "Well, we want to trim all the way to right there," so let's. You can see we trimmed a little bit. So we trimmed a little bit of that video off the, in the beginning. And the end, we're going to trim a little bit off at the end. So let's see. Have a super day. Bye. Okay, so let's take a little buy off just to show you. So we're going to grab the end, pull it in, take about a second off, and then. Have a super day. 
See, there's no buy. So the buy is off there. Okay, so now what I do in my videos is I always go to this little, this little gear at the upper right-hand corner here. Click on that, and then I click, I select the theme. The theme that I have for this is called, that I usually generally select, is called the bright theme, okay? So the bright theme, and uh, Connor, if you can shut the door, that'd be great. Then we'll be able to see this a little bit better. Because it's, it's bright, speaking of bright, it's actually bright in here right now. So, um, and if you can shut the blinds there real quick, buddy. Um, okay, so you can see that this is the, the bright theme. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make it so that um, the theme music is on. So we click it on, okay? And you've got all these other themes here, okay? You've got seven or eight of them. The one that I use the most, though, predominantly is the bright theme. The reason why, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Um, the, the reason why I use the bright theme is because of the fact that it's got a great contrast. The white on black is great. Um, I, I always select to loop the background music um, because it just, it, it's just better that way. Fade in from black, you can actually fade in from black or fade out to black. I usually leave those off. Okay, and then, so once I've got those selected, now the music's gonna, you can see it added this little green bar at the bottom here. So in order to edit the green bar, um, what you've gotta do, in order to gr edit the green bar, you just gotta double tap that bar, okay? Now, the green bar is the audio, the theme music that you added. So all you have to do in order to edit the, the volume of that, of that audio is you just pull this little round ball here up and down. Okay, so I usually bring it down to about 20%. Okay, so that's about the, the audio um, volume that I want. Okay, and then I go to done because I don't want the volume of the theme music to overpower the audio of my subject, okay? Now, sometimes you might, but this, this time I don't. But you do want something playing in the background lightly. The other thing that I do is I add what's called a donut. A donut is, is something in the beginning and in the end to start and to end your video. So it's a donut, on, you know, so that, that's why they call it a donut. So basically, you want, you want the beginning intro to be about 10 to 15 seconds long. I learned this from David Sprague, one of my my video mentors. So you want this to be about 10 to 15 second long, seconds long. So you pull this in to about right there and you click on the actual video clip itself and then you swipe down on that red, that red line and that splits the clip, okay? Now if I wanted to edit the, the, this clip right here, if I wanted to edit out maybe the, the end of this, then I could grab that little ball right there again and I can pull that in, and that would edit and take some of that clip out on the left-hand side. So now you have two separate clips here. So what I can do now is these are treated as totally independent clips. Now, remember, I, I decrease the volume of, of all of, um, of her, well, I decrease the volume of the background music. Now, if I wanted to increase the volume of this clip, of her, of her audio itself, there's another audio here. You can see here, this is the clip settings. Now, I can decrease her audio or I can increase it. I don't want to mess with it, though, because I've got two separate clips right now, and I don't want to make one higher than the other, okay? So, I just, but I wanted to give you a, an idea of, of, you know, how you would adjust that. My suggestion is that if you want to edit the, the volume of the, the subject or the main clip's audio, you do it in the beginning before you split the clips because otherwise you might have one clip that's got a little, an audio a little bit higher in volume than the other one and you don't want that at all, okay? So then the other thing is, is that, is that when, you, when you actually, you can, the other thing you can do is you can, I'll talk about it right now, is you can do these transitions. So you can see I just double clicked on that little thing in the middle there Right now, you can, you can see there's no, there's no transition there, okay? Now, if I want there to be a transition, because I've got a theme in place, I can actually go to the theme settings and the theme transition, and I can make that transition anywhere from 0.5 seconds up to 2 seconds long. Let's go for a 1.5 second long transition. 
just to really show you what this looks like. So now, when I go, and I'm just taking a walk you see that? Street. That's a pretty cool transition. That's a pretty high-tech transition. That's pretty cool that you can add that with just the, the, you know, the tap of a few buttons. And so that looks very professional. Now we want to add the bottom third to this clip right here. Okay, now that bottom third is only going to play for this clip because all I'm clipping on, all I'm tapping on is that clip. So I'm going to go to the title style, I'm going to go to opening, and I'm going to put in whatever I want in there for the text. Okay, so you get the point. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to double click and I want to use something that I like to use. Oh, let me go back. Sorry. I'm going to double click on the, on the clip again, on the clip, and then go to location. And I'm going to go to location title, and I'm going to put in, a, instead of the location title, I'm going to put in some more words so I can use two different, um, you know, two different lines to put information in. I want to use both lines because a lot of times I can't put all the information I want just on that top line, so I use both lines. So I use the location line to put information in also. It's kind of a little secret. Okay, now the other thing you want to do at the end is you want to put your, your other part of your donut in. So you want to put that in about 10 to 15 seconds from the end. You want to put your call to action in. So you'd say, you know, to get your, you know, to get your free report, text your name and email or whatever it is, you know, please comment or rate on or go visit my website. So you want to put that about 10 seconds from the end. So you want to scroll in here, highlight that clip, split it, put the, remember to put your transition in if you want it, done, that's your transition now, it's a hot, one of those cool transitions, see how that's playing, double click on that, now we're going to do, I don't like the ending transition, the ending title style here, I like the middle, even though it's an ending, I, I still use the middle, I put all the information in, done, now that has got, so there's the middle clip, there's three clips now. There's the beginning clip that's got, that's already got the title in it, it's already got the, the beginning information in it with the transition. Then there's the middle clip, the middle clip plays, transition, and then the third clip. So there's your third clip with the, with the, the bottom third there. So that's pretty much it. Now the only other thing that you might want to do is add additional splices here and additional bottom thirds in the middle of your video. I recommend that you don't have any more than 10 to 15 seconds of your video without a bottom third in it. So what you'd want to do is put another middle, you know, whatever in there for that whole bottom third in the middle. So now you've got, you've got information in the beginning for 15, 10 to 15 seconds. You've got information in the middle maybe what you're talking about, and then your call to action. And then that's it. And that's pretty cool. So we can, pl I mean, we can play the whole thing, but. Absolutely amazingly beautiful day here. I'm actually in Palm Beach. I'm over on the island of Palm Beach. And I'm just taking a walk down the street. Gorgeous out. I mean, it's probably 80 degrees, 79, 80 degrees. So you can see we're going to fast forward a little bit. And relax for a little bit. And that's it. So there's your video.